Good day, Grade 7 students! Welcome to the second asynchronous class for the first week of the Bridging Program. This is our work plan for the day's discussion. First, we are going to review the first sentence pattern that we have discussed, the SLVC sentence pattern. Then, our lesson focus for the day is the STVDO sentence pattern. After the discussion, we are going to improve our knowledge through practice exercises. We have two learning targets for today. The first is, I can recall the SLVC sentence pattern. And the second learning target is, I can use the STVDO sentence pattern appropriately. Let's now proceed with the review on the SLVC sentence pattern or the subject, linking verb, and complement sentence pattern. Remember that the complement may be a noun, adjective, or pronoun. Put in mind that the subject is the doer of the action and can be in a form of noun or pronoun. A linking verb links the subject and other words in the sentence like another noun or an adjective. Examples of linking verbs are be verbs am, is, are, was, and were. Or sensory verbs which are appeal, feel, look, grow. Lastly, a complement is the description of the subject. It is also called a modifier of the subject. It can be a noun, pronoun, or adjective. Let's have a look at these sentences. Miss Elsa is a licensed teacher. In this sentence, the subject is the noun Miss Elsa, the linking verb is the be verb is, and the complement is the noun a licensed teacher. In this sentence, she seemed kind and thoughtful. The subject is the pronoun she. The linking verb is the sensory verb seemed. And the complement are the adjectives kind and thoughtful. Last example sentence. The science teacher in grade 7 was she. The subject is the noun phrase the science teacher in grade 7. The linking verb is the be verb was, and the noun complement is the pronoun she. Let's check your understanding on the SLVC sentence pattern. In the given sentences, identify the subject, linking verb, and complement. Number 1. The boys' team is so active during the final activity. Pause this video as you try to identify the subject, linking verb, and complement in the sentence. Let's answer. The subject in this sentence is the noun phrase, the voice team. The linking verb is the verb, is. And the complement is the adjective phrase, so active during the final activity. Number 2. The winner for today's activity is us. Pause this video as you try to identify the subject, linking verb, and complement in the sentence. Let's answer. The subject in this sentence is the noun phrase, the winner for today's activity. The linking verb is the verb, is. And the complement is the pronoun, us. Number 3. Jane's brother Aiden looks professional. Pause this video as you try to identify the subject, linking verb, and complement in the sentence. Let's answer. The subject in this sentence is the noun phrase and the positive, Jane's brother Aiden. The linking verb is the sensory verb looks. And the complement is the adjective professional. We are now done recalling the SLVC sentence pattern. This time, we shall turn our attention to today's discussion 
which is the SDVDO sentence pattern. S still stands for subject, TV stands for transitive verb, and DO stands for direct object. Since the first asynchronous session, we have learned that a subject is the doer of the action in a sentence. It can be a noun, pronoun, or group of words that act as a noun. For example, the students follow the rules. The subject in the sentence is the students. A transitive verb is an action verb that has an object to receive that action. And it takes one or more objects to complete its thought. Let's go back to the example. The students follow the rules. Again, the subject is the students. And the action that the subject students is doing is follow. Therefore, follow is a transitive verb in this sentence. Here are examples of transitive verbs. The last part of the STVDO sentence pattern is the direct object. A direct object is the receiver of the action. It could be a noun or a noun phrase that receives the action in the sentence. Lastly, it answers the questions whom and what. In this sentence, the student follows the rules. The subject is the students, the transitive verb is follow, and the direct object is the rules. It answers the question, what do the students follow? Let's have more example sentences to understand the STVDO sentence pattern. Chris sent an email. To identify the subject, ask, who is doing the action? The answer is Chris. So Chris is the subject. To identify the transitive verb, ask, what is the action of the subject? The answer is the verb sent. But remember that the transitive verb needs to have a direct object for the thought of the sentence to be complete. If you try to remove the phrase an email and the sentence reads Chris sent, the thought of the sentence is incomplete. Therefore, the verb sent is a transitive verb. Lastly, since you have already identified that the verb used is a transitive verb, the phrase an email answers the question what did Chris send? So, an email is the direct object in the sentence. Next sentence, Chris messaged Lara Jean. The subject in this sentence is the noun Chris. The transitive verb is messaged. And the direct object is Lara Jean. How do you identify the direct object? Ask the question, who receives the action in the sentence? The answer is, Lara Jean. Let's have another sentence. Lara Jean read the guidelines for the online classes. The subject in the sentence is Lara Jean. She did the action. The action in this sentence is read. Therefore, it is the transitive verb. Then, the receiver of this action is the guidelines for the online classes. It answers the question, what did Lara Jean read? Therefore, the guidelines for the online classes is the direct object. Next sentence. Everyone submitted their answer in the poll. The subject in this sentence is everyone. The action verb is submitted. And the direct object is their answer in the poll. How would you identify the direct object? Ask, what did everyone submit? The answer is their answer in the poll. Last sample sentence. Kitty types the wrong password for the Zoom class. To identify the subject, identify who is the topic in the sentence or the doer of the action. And in this sentence, the subject is Kitty. 
The transitive verb is the action of kitty types. For the direct object, ask what is kitty typing? The answer is the wrong password for the Zoom class. This time, it is now your turn to identify the subject, transitive verb, and direct object in each sentence. Pause the video as you try to answer each item. You may write your answers on a sheet of paper. Number 1. The scientist performed an experiment. Identify the subject, transitive verb, and direct object in this sentence. Check your answer. The subject in this sentence is the scientist. The transitive verb is performed. And the direct object is an experiment. Let's have number two. Peter plays Mobile Legends. Pause this video as you try to identify the subject, transitive verb, and direct object in this sentence. Check your answer. The subject in this sentence is Peter. The transitive verb is place. And the direct object is Mobile Legends. Number 3. He called the teacher. Pause this video as you try to identify the subject, transitive verb, and direct object in this sentence. Check your answer. The subject in this sentence is the pronoun he. And what did he do? The transitive verb called. And whom did he call? The direct object is the teacher. Number 4. The beautiful kitty defeated Hannah in the pageant. Pause this video as you try to identify the subject transitive verb, and direct object in this sentence. Check your answer. The subject in this sentence is the phrase, the beautiful kitty. And what did kitty do? She defeated Hannah. So the transitive verb is defeated. And who is the receiver of this action? Hannah. Therefore, Hannah is the direct object in this sentence. Last item, number 5. Josh sliced the cake perfectly. Pause this video as you try to identify the subject, transitive verb, and direct object in this sentence. Check your answer. The subject in this sentence is Josh. The action of Josh is the transitive verb sliced. And the direct object is the cake. Perfectly is just an adverb. That's it for today's asynchronous class. I hope that you have reached the learning targets for today. I hope that you have recalled the SLVC pattern and you can now use the STVDO sentence pattern appropriately. Thank you for watching!